Hi everyone, we're going to learn about truth tables. There are some symbols that we know. Hypothesis is P, please write down the symbol. Conclusion is Q. Not is this curve. Therefore are three dots, looks like a triangle. If and then is an arrow pointing to the right. By condition is two arrows each way, looks like a number line, short number line. Please write these symbols next to each word. We have a new symbols and vocab. Conjunction means A and D. Please write A and D and, and it's this symbol pointing up. To be true, both hypothesis and conclusion must be true. Next symbol is disjunction, which means or. Please write or, and it's pointing down. To be true, at least one of the hypotheses and conclusion must be true. So if you uh, have P and Q, you're going to write P, this symbol, and Q. This means P and Q. Not P or not Q will be written this way with the negation sign and then upside down, pointing down. But this means not P or not Q. This is OR symbol. Not P and Q. So not P, not is in front of P. And then N, Q. Notice there's no not in front of Q, so don't put that negation sign in front of Q. So this is uh, read not P and Q. Truth values. Every statement has a truth value. For example, if it, is, if it is raining, then the ground is wet. It is raining is P. The ground is wet is Q. So this is your hypothesis. If it's, if it's raining, you're making prediction. The conclusion is the ground is wet. The hypothesis P could be true or false. The conclusion Q could be true or false. A true table is a device used to determine whether a compound statement is true or false. If it's raining, then the ground is wet. Here is a true table for this statement. Please copy true, 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 false, false, true, false, false on the table. P can be true or P can be false. Q can be true or Q can be false. There are true table values that depend on whether or not P or Q is true or false. For example, P is true, then not P will be false. So it's the inverse of that. If P is false, then not P will be true. If Q is true, then not Q will be false. If Q is false, then not Q will be false. Uh, true. So it's just doing inverse. And when you see the negation, you just flip it, you just write the inverse. There are truth values that depend on whether or not P and Q are true or false and require both true values to determine. This is where our symbol for N and or show up. So take a look at the table. We're going to fill in the table. Please write and above the, this, these two and then or above these two. So this one, if P is uh, true, Q is true, P and Q is true, 
P or uh, Q is true. If P is true and Q is uh, false, then P and Q is false. P or Q is true. Now, how do you know that? If we go to the previous um, slide, a few slides uh, before, right here, and conjunction is to be true. Both Hypothesis and conclusion must be true. So if you want N to be true, P and Q both have to be true. To be true, at least one of the hypothesis and conclusion must be true. So keep these two definitions in mind. And I'm going to go back to our table. So right here, if this is true, this is true, everything is true, right? But if this is true and this is false, the definition of N conjunction is to be true, both P and Q must be true. Now here, one of them is false. So that's false. And then or, in order for or to be true, it, just one of them needs to be true, at least one. So here you have one that's true. So that's why it's true. If P is false and Q is true, this is false. Because in order for P and Q to be true, they both have to be true. That's the criteria. For or, if one of them is true, then it's true. Because it's this or that. If this is false, this is false, then P and Q is of course false. And P or Q is false. We may also incorporate if and then, conditional statement. For example, P, if and then, Q, right here, conditional statement. If P is true, Q is true, then P, this Q, Q the if and then, is true. But here, if P is true and the conclusion is false, so your hypothesis is true, if your conclusion is false, then it's false. The condition is false at the end. If hypothesis is true, P, and the conclusion is true, then it is true. Your condition at the end, your result, conclusion is true. If your hypothesis is false and conclusion is false, then it's true. Because your hypothesis was false, the conclusion is false, they make sense. So you predict correct, so it's true. So put a star here. For the second line, if P is true, but the conclusion is false, then the whole state must be false. For the last two lines, if P is false, it does not even meet its own condition. That P be true or whatever follows. So it does not matter whether or not Q is true or false. Basically, the condition for P if and then Q has not been denied because the condition was never met in the first place. So, okay, so next page, we're going to copy this table and I'm gonna explain. So please write true, 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 false, false, true, false, true, true, false, 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 true, true. So I'm gonna explain it. So please copy this, pause the video and copy this first. So I'm going to use an example, a conditional statement. If it is raining, then the ground is wet. First line, it is raining, the ground is wet. My conclusion followed by the hypothesis is true. So here, the hypothesis, conclusions, then condition is true. And even though you switch, go the other way, it's true, right? So everything's true. Second line, it is raining, the ground is not wet, so right here, this one is false, so it's not wet, so this is the true, right here, P, that's P, this is false, my conclusion did not follow my hypothesis, so it's false, so the conclusion was false, and it, they did, it did not match my hypothesis, my prediction, so it's false, and if I go the other way, from here to here, this right here, if I go Q to P, then that's 
true. So that's why this is true. Third line, it is not raining, the ground is wet. So this is false. So the P is not raining, the ground is wet, that's true. My hypothesis was not met. I do not know if the ground is wet or not when it's not raining, so it does not matter what happens. I have not denied that the ground is wet when it is raining, so that's true. Fourth line, it is not raining, the ground is not wet, my hypothesis was still not met. I do not know if the ground is wet or not when it's not raining, so it does not matter what happens. I have not denied that the ground is wet when it's still raining, so that's what is true. So basically, from uh, if P and then, you look at the uh, conclusion, if that's true and true, this is false, that's false, they made a true statement. If this is true, conclusion is true, then that's true. But only, when you have false hypothesis and then false conclusion, you made the prediction right and then conclusion was uh, same as the prediction. So that is true statement. So this true, true, true is and then false, false, true. But then here you need to look at Q. The conclusion is false, then it's going to be false. And this is going to be true, then that's going to be true. If you do converse, you just go from Q to P. So go this way, from here to here. So T, T, that's T, true. False, true, but the conclusion is true, so that conclusion is true. So you look at the conclusion. So that's true, but false. So if the co conclusion is false, then that's the result, false. But then if you do false, false, your prediction matches the conclusion. So that is, that is true. That's valid. So that's how you interpret this uh, true table. You always start with T, 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 F, F, T, F, F. This is how you start every time, P and Q. So this part will never change. P, T, 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 F, F, T, F, F. And then you go from here. So this always stays put every time, okay? So the next two, uh, example one and two, we're going to actually do it in class. So you can actually stop here, your notes. Uh, because I do want to explain as I do this because it gets a little bit uh, complicated and looks um, a little bit overwhelming at the point. So I want to do the do the example with you in class so you can actually pause the video here. Thank you for watching. We'll uh, practice more in class.